New York, 1863. In the wild slums of the city, there's only one law, the law of force. And the gangs are in a constant state of ruthless war. But in this video, there'll be no people in their cruelty towards each other because there are also several dangerous gangs in the animal world that terrify everyone who's ever encountered them. We're gonna talk about them. If they try to attack the otter, this will happen. Yeah, your eyes aren't deceiving you. A family of giant otters attacking a crocodile. Hell, it's not just a family, it's a gang. Otter Mafia. But we'll return to this case in a little bit. For starters, let's find out what kind of animals they are if they're comfortable with attacking some of the most dangerous predators on the planet. These otters come from Brazil. And since we're talking about gangs, the giant otter shares the South American continent with three of the four local representatives of the genus Lantra. Neotropical river otter, southern river otter, and sea otter. Yeah, there are a lot of them. And the giant otter is on top. It's the biggest, the most dangerous, the deadliest. Yes, we're still talking about otters. I didn't think that I would ever say the words dangerous and otter in the same sentence, but the fact remains. And how did it happen that such an animal suddenly became a powerful river fighter? Most of the other types of otters are quite shy and usually aren't very big. A giant otter, though, can reach 1.7 meters in length and weigh about 30 kilograms. Add a muscular tail, strength, endurance, acute hearing, and sharp eyes, along with a great sense of smell. But this is not the end either. A giant otter is a very social animal that lives in large family groups. The size of the group can reach up to 20 individuals. They all travel, sleep, eat, and do other things together. Giant otters are also aggressive and protect their territory at any cost. How do you know you're not in their territory? Oh, it's hard not to notice. This species can hunt alone, in pairs or in groups, and the menu includes absolutely everything there is in a certain area. Fish? Something like a main course? Small snakes? As a light snack. Crabs? Easy. Crocodiles? Oh, crocodiles better stay away from these giant otters. Anaconda, give me two, please. Because these predators are fast, unusually flexible, their teamwork is spectacular, they attack from different sides, and their powerful jaws leave no chance for prey. In addition, they immediately eat what they caught, and they start with the head. That is, there's no chance to get out of this fight alive. These are not the otters that charmingly hold each other's paws so that they aren't carried away by the current. Only rage and hardcore. And while the charming otters pose for photographs for tourist Instagrams, collecting likes and sighs, other otters attack the monkeys. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh my god. No, seriously, they are really capable of this. In a video made a few years ago, you can see a group of otters drowning a monkey in the Bronx Zoo in New York. Literally, drowning it in the water. There, otters are strangling and drowning the panicking monkey, and the other individuals are unsuccessfully trying to help. It's not clear why the otters behave this way or how the monkey got in the water, but for the primate, it didn't end well. Perhaps there was an accidental fall and the otters considered it aggression? Or maybe they just wanted to. Maybe otters are such water relatives of honey badgers that attack other animals for no particular reason. By the way, the Bronx case isn't the only one. The war between monkeys and otters is long and bloody. In Bristol Zoo, otters killed and ate a golden lion tamarin after it fell into the pond. And this species, by the way, is in danger of extinction. Do you think that otters only attack those who are smaller and weaker? What about the jaguar? <laughs> yep, it's not by chance that I remembered honey badgers. They're the same kind of psychos without a sense of self-preservation. Actually, a poor jaguar just went down to the river to get a drink of water. Obviously, didn't expect a disgruntled otter would come up and would start snorting, grunting. I don't even know how to describe this sound. But I'm sure that anyone would be confused in such a situation, especially if more and more disgruntled otters appear, more and more snorting. And yeah, they just chase the jaguar away. And here's another interesting fact. In the language of locals, a giant otter is also called a water jaguar. So these species are worthy opponents. They're so worthy that there's only one known case where a jaguar managed to kill a giant otter. And that's because it was alone and was on the shore and didn't expect an attack. Nobody would overcome the whole gang. And by the way, about the gang, let's take a closer look at it. Giant otters can live as large families or only with four individuals in a group. In any case, in each of these groups, there's the main one. See this otter? This is an alpha female and she's the coolest. She's the one who makes decisions about attack or defense, takes care of the offspring and the whole group. And this is the male. 
He marks a certain area and patrols it with the others. Each of these gangs, I mean families, has its own territory, which they protect. Yeah, just like the gangs I was talking about in the beginning. But people do it in a slightly different way. If a stranger enters the territory, they will obviously have big problems. Otters act in a similar way. And by the way, what about the crocodile from the beginning of the video? Well, it came into the wrong neighborhood. I mean, it swam into the wrong territory. And it was killed. First, it's difficult to cope with a whole gang of rapacious, aggressive bandits, even if you're a crocodile. Second, thick skin, which protects against other problems, won't help here. The otters have much more energy, so they just exhaust the crocodile. Quite quickly, it gets very tired, its muscles are filled with lactic acid, and stop functioning. At this point, it's almost intoxicated, and the otters can pull the opponent to the bank. Usually, this happens, and then the otters actually eat their prey alive, getting to the inside with sharp teeth. Jeez, well, you get it. Giant otters like to mess with the crocodiles. Here it just floated about his business, and there appears one head, then another, and... But don't think that otters attack only large predators and poor dying monkeys. If you're human, you should also stay away. And even more so, don't try to take the log which the otter considers its own, even if it's small and alone. Hey, oh! Oh! <laughs> hey, that's all right. Get the Seriously, after today's video, I am going to avoid these animals. If I can, of course. <laughs> get up! Get up! Because you don't have to get close to any vital log to provoke an attack. You just need... I don't know, try to take a picture of the wrong otter at the wrong time, and that's it. Run for your lives! Usually the phrase, I survived an otter attack, seem ridiculous. But after everything I learned today, whew, this girl's really lucky. First, an otter that came to one of the houses in Florida attacked a French bulldog named Scooter, and then its owner, 17-year-old Gwen. She received a strong bite, a few scratches, and was seriously frightened. Fortunately, her mother came to the rescue, and everything ended well. A few drops of blood and no rabies. I think that otter was just in a bad mood. But imagine what would have happened if it had chosen the family as its prey. Or maybe it's even true. Okay, what other animals are there? Turtles? What happens if a giant otter meets a giant turtle? Which, by the way, has quite powerful jaws and, oh, who am I kidding? This turtle has no chance. Look, it almost doesn't resist. And as a result, it turns into an otter dinner. Well, bon appetit. Looks like it was tasty. By the way, it was not by chance that I mentioned anacondas. Giant otters hunt them, and even when it's just one individual, it seems to have no fear at all. What, a huge snake that can eat me? Fine, I'll sniff it. And one more time, and one more time, and one more time. Oh, well, it's funny, okay. Okay, 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 crocodiles, jaguars, anacondas, and even people. But what happens if the otter meets a really scary creature? Oh yeah, it's the walking nightmare, a hissing nightmare. I'm talking about a goose. Haven't these demons ever chased you? Haven't they tried to bite some of your gentle places? Well, then you're really lucky. But even geese are powerless before a hungry otter. For an otter, it's just a snack. Okay, to sum it up then, I had no idea that otters were capable of this. What's next? It turns out that hedgehogs are actual predators? Oh, you gotta be kidding me.